This is the Generation 3 Nightcore NB 10,000 milliamp hour power bank. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on this small yet very capable unit, keep watching. All right, before we get started, I just want to thank Nightcore for sending out the NB 10,000 so that I could share it with you. So what we'll do is go down to the tabletop. I'll go over its key features, its physical and performance specifications, its modes of operation, as simple as they are. And then I'll talk about my experiences using it. Before we focus in on the power bank itself, let me share with you what it came with. So it arrived in this box and inside of the box, two things only. One, the manual, as you would expect, and this cable. And no, it's not a charging cable. It's actually an adapter cable that allows you to plug in the USB Type-C port and give you a USB Type-A port. Notably missing is a charging cable. You'll have to provide your own for charging this unit. Now, the other thing that's missing, and I'm asking Nycor to consider putting this with it, is some type of a little carry sack, carry bag of some type. Fortunately, I had one in my collection I could put it with. And what's the value of that? Well, of course, it's not so much for protection of the unit, but if you're going to be using the power bank, likely you're going to have to use cables with it. This allows me to take the power bank and cables all in one place. All right, let's get started with the unit itself. Let's go through a few of its key features to start with. And this is one of the nice things about this. This is tough. It has an enhanced carbon fiber torsion construction, meaning that it is especially strong, allowing for twists and bangs and drops and things like that without any damage. It has corner cushions, little rubberized cushions that prevent it from when it's dropped on the ground. Don't you wish cell phones were made like this? It has pass-through charging, a little bit different for a power bank, common for a power station, but on a power bank, I wouldn't have thought it was something I would look for, but I can see the benefit if you only have one power source source for charging either your phone or your power bank, now you can do both. Charge the power bank and from the power bank, charge your phone at night or whenever, of course, you're going to be doing it. This is also great to have auto detect low current devices. Now, what that means is there are uh, quite a few devices on the market that draw so very little current while they're charging. Things like earbuds, uh, smart watches and the like. They can fool a power station into believing that there's nothing attached to it and shut themselves down. This will detect the very, very slight power draw that they have and keep on charging. Now, of course, being a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank, it is airline approved as well. Now, it has a number of very good protections worth knowing as well. It has overcurrent protection over discharge protection, over voltage protection, short circuit protection, and thermal protection. Now quickly, I'll go through the physical specifications for the NB10000, but of course I'll put all of this in the video description for your reference as well. In this dimension, 4.8 inches, across here, 2.33 inches, and through here, 0.42 inches. It weighs 5.29 ounces, quite a lightweight battery. It is 10,000 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. It has two USB Type-C output ports, both fast charge. I'll talk about the, more about those in a minute. It has an IPX5 rating, so it will withstand water getting on it. It just won't withstand prolonged submersion. Now, the last thing I'll share with you before wrapping this video up are the ports on the end of the device. So there are two USB Type-C fast charge ports, both of which are input and output ports. Each port will accept 18 watts max in for charging, and each port will give you 22.5 watts max output charge. Now, there is a button over here. It's not an on-off button so much as it is a power button indicator. It does use the four blue lights, each indicating 25% of the battery status left. There is no numerical number on this, just the blue light system. All right, we'll wrap this video up sharing a few of my experiences using the NB10000. So as far as the testing for this unit goes, I used it primarily around the house for things like charging my cell phone, 
phone, charging some flashlights, charging my tablet, most importantly, charging the batteries for the camera that I use when I go to the woods and record videos. Uh, that's what this will be for me, is a backup charging source for the camera batteries as well as the microphone batteries, because it has happened to me where batteries have died while I was out there in extreme cold and frustrating. So it's nice to have a means of charging your batteries when you're out there if it's required. Okay, there's not much more I can say about this unit. Uh, what I'll do now is turn it over to you. If you have any comments or questions, put those in the comments section below. I will be putting the links to where you can take another look at this unit in the video description as well as all the specifications for it. But until next time, get out and explore and take that path less traveled because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.